I have a reflection of light right there. See that? On oh, my badge. Oh, right it is. yeah. I, shake I was it. like, where shake the it. fuck are you talking about? So, right there. There's nothing on your face, there's nothing on your forehead. <laughs> hey guys, cool on my back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We're here with Gravity Falls. Last time on the elusive unicorn. Mm. My horn will pierce the sky. The soul. Oh, the soul but not soul. really. Yeah, you're right. They're dicks. Why are they called unicorns? Why isn't it like a unicorn? Because you can't digest them. Cornucopia is horn of plenty. Mm-hmm. This is also okay. So that's just like a plentiful corn? Well, I'm assuming corn, like some etymology, means horn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just also, curious. Bill wants to destroy the thing that's containing the rift so that he and his friends can get through and destroy the world as we know it. Just have a party, Why? is what he said, yep. Bill, to be honest. Bill, 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 Bill. Are you running from the law again? <laughs> Dude, it's the <laughs> ultimate Oregon road trip adventure. Cool. More like revenge trip. Every year, my tourist trap competitors prank the mystery shack. Last year, those hooligans duct taped Zeus to the ceiling. That was a fun 78 hours. <laughs> well, no more. And I'm going to prank back every single one. Logland? I gotta look them all. I couldn't read them all. Shoot, I wasn't looking for keys. Me either. I was. I didn't see any, but it was quick. I don't trust you. Just sign these non disclosure agreements. None of your parents are lawyers, right? Non disclosure agreements? Her what do you say, dude? So cool. You're coming? I already went to the trouble of packing all your like stuff. A, Even the stuff well, you kept so. in that secret box under the bed. Like a non-liability What the? Oh. What's ah. that? Oh, he's over Wendy. Uh, nothing. Yeah. It's a walkabout. He's going to try to get Wendy to come along, isn't he? No. I gonna think gonna shape he's Wendy gonna... out of clay. Me. <laughs> Young boy that age, just... See a new girl. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I think you should have talked more to that rich chick. Pacifica Northwest or whatever it was. Still could be. Southeast? I don't know what she was called. Something. Pacifica Northwest, yeah. I can't believe we're sitting at a table in a moving vehicle! It is, it's pretty cool. It's weird. Yeah. And yet, you don't need to see both. We're coming up on an attraction run by the most black-hearted proprietor in all of Oregon! It's gonna be like candy, yeah. Yarn bomb? Granny Sweekins? Oh, no. Don't let the faith fool you. This woman lit my car on fire on two non-consecutive occasions. Whoa! I'm going in, girls. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. See? My name is Dopper. He messed up his name. Free ice cream. <laughs> I win. Dipper, up two. This ball of yarn ain't gonna prank itself. Wait, oh, Tied no. to the car and unwind it. Are they gonna unravel They the found the, 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 the end. It's more the, than a prank. The inside end. It's the destruction of property. Earlier this summer, I ruined my chances with Wendy. <laughs> yeah, chances. And I want to move on, but I'm terrible at talking to girls. At this rate, I'm gonna grow up to be a sad loner like Toby Determined. He's mayor. Whoa. Toby Determined. Never say that about yourself. Right? Toby's not. Lucky for you, Keep I'm biking. an expert on women. Now! They have a swing! Grinda is holding up well, he two other girls with one arm. He bought souvenirs. Her what? Lively, huh? Where you go, darn son of a no good! She was inside? Oh! oh. I'll get you, stand by! Yeah, who's in just 30 miles? Top to upside down? What? Cool. Upside down, one of these, uh, uh, Upside down, uh, Beach. Cool. It turns you upside down. <laughs> Whoa. Is it Velcro? Is that what they did? Yeah. Yeah. Emma, come on! We have to get to Canada before your mother gives birth! Why back story. to Canada? Maybe you could tell me sometime. Uh, citizenship Here's my reasons? email address. Right now, I'll tell you all about it. But Cougar. dual citizenship. The girl gave me her email, they won't let but it wasn't out of pity. You know this. <laughs> yes! No! It's oh. <laughs> better than okay. Maybe it's the blood pooling in my head, but Dipper seems different. Aww. Yes, good different. Now, Zeus! Oh no! They're dipping the house! They're making it right way up, and now it's not special. Now it's just a house. Right side up town so doesn't quite work. Now. Actually, his house. What a back. lovely normal home. What? <laughs> what a lovely no Why does that like, well, the furniture still upside down though? Worked. What do I do now? Do I email it? Gmail. Uh, <laughs> I'm on a stick. What do you do that? Advice bird. No, That's a beaver! <laughs> Brilliant. The 
maze. Horn oh, no, no, that's terrible. Don't Everyone forget Zeus. Probably. They Probably. forgot Zeus. We never see him again. Guys, oh, hello? No. Anyone? Oh no. Don't come back for me. It's like Rick. <laughs> I don't know why they cracked me. Yeah, that was a lousy summer. Look. Why is the water glowing? Wow. So hey, many numbers. Stan Pine's method, kid. Works every time. I'm just a little worried. Don't get in the water. I mean, is it bad to flirt with this many girls no. at once? He's I'm just keeping... trying to get over Wendy. Do you like someone? Uh oh, someone's blushing. Okay, maybe just a little. I don't know for sure. It just She's wearing, she's wearing a Steve shirt. Tell her life! Tell her life! Okay, uh, it begins Lisa. with a D. Twitter version. And ends with an Ipper. <gasps> Man, coyotes <laughs> sound like a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> coyotes sound a lot worse than I remember. Candy Crush. <laughs> right, it's all been for this moment. Mystery Mouth. Mystery Mountain. Guys, I haven't looked at the keys. I just realized I've been looking a little. And side things of half a human, half spider creatures. Arachnomorphs. <laughs> but wait, that means it'll be just me and... Candy too. Sixth grade. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. Oh, bunny. Yeah. Watch and learn. Whoa, I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? Oh, <laughs> you are a riot. What brings you here? We don't normally Dream get men this theory. handsome around these parts. You know, I'm going on a break. You want to take the Sky Tram up to Widow's Peak? Well, Widow's Peak, she's going to kill you. It could just be because of the, the, the theme of the park. Good for stance. This place is so enchanting. Sort of new Mummies Daily. The phrase New Mummies Daily, though. I mean, how does that even work? There's an ER in, there's a, there was an ER in the web. I was wondering when you'd call. Dipper, who is she, this? He didn't, Nobody. Didn't call. I mean, uh. You agreed to go on a date with me, and you were seeing all these other girls? Well, answer us. Which one of us do you like? I. I like all of uh... you. I mean, I don't like any of you. I mean, I was trying to learn how to talk to girls. <laughs> Unbelievable. So gross. What a jerk. Look at that log spider. It's really cool. What can I say? I'm a real catch. Yes. <laughs> I knew it! Is she a spider lady? Uh, your contact Black put out. Uh, 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 flame retardant raccoon says <laughs> don't hug forest spiders. Fire retardant <laughs> raccoon. The good news is I've solved the mystery of where Oregon's mummies come from. The bad news oh, is daily. how to become one. How did he get to his phone? So they drain the people that come and make new mummies daily, okay. I love a man with shoulder hair. You, you didn't mean it about my shoulder hair? Allow me to slip into something more horrifying. Oh my god! <laughs> yep, she was right. That's real bad. Let my calming voice soothe you! <laughs> <laughs> Girl, please save me, Paul Bunyan. Mr. Pine! Whoa, did that really work? Paul? <laughs> 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 She's punching the webs. <laughs> Kill him with fire. The it's kind of scary. Trim. Everybody on. Welcome to Trampion. And the world's slowest like treetop trail. Tree the slowest treetop. At 0 0.1 miles per hour. <laughs> oh! No! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Jesus. And they're, like, they're protected by the web. It's like golfing. Oh my gosh! Paul Bunyan did save the day. My only weakness, a giant boot. <laughs> a giant newspaper, a giant cup would also have been pretty bad. Thank you for riding Trampy and Skytrap. Tell your friends it was a boring, boring ride. Kid, that was ingenious! Have you ever considered becoming a comedian? You know, I actually have. Comedy is too subtle these days. My style involves more oversized props. Here, let me get you out. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Ah, get the car, get the car! Kill it! Pick up Zeus! He's in that maze. No. All right, sweating. kid, I gotta admit something. I'm no expert on women. Truth is, I've been divorced once and slapped more times than I can mm. remember. Confidence can buy you a lot, but at the end of the day, pickup artists tend to get our heads bitten off. 
When it comes to women, I'm a failure. Hey, we're both failures. I found a pamphlet I don't think you've read yet. <laughs> it's true. Yay! Oh, yeah! 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 I feel a little bad about wrecking those tourist traps. Ah, come on. Everyone loves my pranks. And the best part is, I never have to face any consequence. Sweet Lord! Aw, oh, come on! Dan is a hack. Dan is a butt. Uh, upside down. That's what you get. That's what you get. Nah, I'm sure Seuss will take care of it. Where is Seuss anyway? I love the wind. I don't know why. Okay, I... Seuss. Remember what your grandma taught you. When you get lost, stay exactly where you are and don't move. It's terrible advice. Don't Except for Rick. Move. You know, I would make a really good scarecrow. Did you see how long that key was? Or that thing was? It was so oh, long. <laughs> what yeah. you have to do? Oh, but, uh, oh my gosh. There's long too. There's so much. Just, uh, Why are you doing take my breath away? It's just in my head. Take my breath. So did you like see? You went to Bob Dylan there for a second. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Sounded good. That ended up being a on Hurdle. It was the answer yesterday. It was a Bob Dylan song. I did not recognize until it got like it was like this court this intro part, right? It was like some drum things and stuff. I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like some kind of like old country song maybe or something like that. And then it got to the I don't know the words are, but it's the da, 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 didn't you like there's there's some well, like words a Rolling said, Stone? Yeah, it was that song. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't recognize like a Rolling Stone. Not the first until he started talking. Sure, but like the very beginning of it, I'm like, I don't know the fuck this is. It's like, Doom. like a drum. Yeah, like just one hit of a drum. Oh yeah, no, it starts with the snare like, drum. Oh, it's so good. I don't know what that is. And they kept going. Like, Listen, that this, this morning working out. And they got to the point, and I'm like. Oh, this is that dude, didn't you? Like, it's, 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 that's the line, but what is it? And I, it was down to, like, a Rolling Stone or Times Are Changing. I'm like, I don't even know what Times Are Changing sounds like. I can't think of what it is. It doesn't have a drum. And then there were two other options, like, Blowing in the Wind. I'm like, I know it's not Blowing in the Wind. And there was something else. I'm like, I know it's not that one. So it's one of these two. I'm going to go with, like, a Rolling Stone. And I got it right. But, really. Very fun episode. I love RV trips. And they're completely right. Sitting at a table while it's moving is... <coughs> One of God's greatest gifts. Yeah? Yep, I love it. We could use you know, that. every table that you sit at is moving, right? Well, yes, like, considering the Earth is a rock flying through space at 22,000 yeah. miles an hour. I get that, but it's still cool. Could have used that on the school bus <laughs> playing Euchre. It would have been nice. A table? Yeah. Yeah, instead we just had someone and hold their hand out. <laughs> opposing facing seats. Yeah. Like, it was just... You had to be the schmuck that didn't play. You, you were the table. <laughs> you just had, one guy had his hand out, and then the other people were sitting there playing. We need to think of some Sucks. of our travels to who just so that we can all... We can just rent, like, a giant, luxurious RV. My parents have a giant, yeah. luxurious RV. You mean I like, follow a TikTok, and all the guy does is review, like, the brand new RVs. And yeah. they're insane. How giant luxurious are we talking? We're talking like Pete from like a Goofy movie. Yeah. Giant luxurious. Yeah. Like he had like like a yeah. hot tub on the top yeah. and a bowling alley yeah. popped out. I haven't seen like, their new one. I don't even want to go anywhere. Just drive around. <laughs> That's what we said we would do if we went camping. We're like, yeah. you guys could go camping and like me, Rick, and like Jancy could stay in the awesome in the RV. RV. Wi-Fi. Like you two and like Melanie can like. Go camping. Rough like she likes camping. camping. I'm like, so ah, I don't want to so go camping. Funny. Oh. Food never tastes better than the food that you make over a campfire. It, I don't know what it's it is. weird. Yeah. It's it's got to be the smoke. <laughs> Maybe it is the smoke. I don't know. You got to use good wood though. You can't yeah. use that locust shit that's yes. laying on the ground. I'm assuming Maggie would be on the camping side of things, yeah. and not the glamping where, where, side. Where would Carmen lie? Would she lie on the camping side? Or do you think she'd lie on the RV side? Glamping. Glamping. So yeah. The RV side of things. Mm -hmm. Glamping. I don't know what that means, but so the RV side. Glamorous, Glamorous camping. It's funny that each of us feel like my significant other would be on the other side yep. where I'm at here. It is, it is funny. <laughs> yeah. I feel like an RV is almost a step she, too far. I need like log log cabin with Wi-Fi. She, she <laughs> might Air she might want to go like in a tent and stuff. Like she used to camp when she was a kid and she enjoyed it sometimes. But I think she's just at that point where I like Wi-Fi. I like AC. I like you know. 
a bed. <laughs> you know. Dude, we were literally half inch a... mattress pad on the ground. Yeah. I've had too many times of like not worth camping it. and like we use a blow up mattress and like by the time I wake up it's like on the flattened. Ground. I'm just oh. on the ground anyway. Oh, like I should have just slept baby. on the ground. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's funny. No man, we just had a sleeping bag, like just on the floor of the woods with plastic tarp over us so that you wouldn't be mildewed in the morning. Oh. <laughs> you just wake up in the morning and take that thing off and it's just you're so dry. Oh. And that's fun? Oh, so fun. Because <laughs> right. you literally, like, you're like falling. Rick's like, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you're falling asleep looking at the stars. It's pretty cool. It's my worst case scenario, me being lost in the woods. I mean, I could just have an RV with, like, a sky window. Well, you're looking through a window. It's not the same. I, I, can, the same I can go outside the RV and look up. Yeah. They're there. So, so are you to the RV right. will, poll- will pollute your, your view. Are you yeah. saying looking Light at the pollution. moon is the right way versus looking at the moon through a telescope? I mean, like looking through glass is not the way to I look at the stars. Said the and... sky, which is a small part, the moon is a very small part of the sky. Yeah, but looking you were like, because there's a sheet of glass now between you and the sky, yeah. it's, not, it's not right. Like maybe if it was the aurora borealis. Like okay. I don't know, man. Sure. Like if you look is. at the sky on a clear night, away from as many lights as possible, it's pretty crazy. It's sure. It's almost one of the greatest sins of men, man, that we've denied ourselves that every night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but the trip was very fun. I like the revenge trip. I don't have enough enemies. It was a prevenge anymore. trip. Yeah. Those were not pranks. Those were like destroying their, their livelihood. Yeah, like they just yes. took the yarn. You know, they like, took the thing. Like the normies yeah. showed up and just burned down our building. <laughs> like, oh, we got them! Like that's not a prank. I mean, that, they got us. <laughs> <laughs> they they put the the Ohio River in here. It's like, haha, wave on that, <laughs> right? It's just like that. What he was doing was, like, let me make all of their attractions not there anymore. Yeah. To so like, look at this nice normal house. Mm-hmm. Blot Aaron's eyes out. Ha <laughs> ha! Blind. Ha <laughs> ha! They run away. Mm. Trip him. Why me? And I'm not sure. I couldn't tell from how he talked about it before if like he started it, yeah, or if they so. pranked him first, and it's just escalated to this point. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's a tradition. Like all the. Various tourists. I want to see the tourist map. Mm, of all the various sad. tourists. That was 33 the seconds. Beginning. Revenge. Logland we went to. We went to the bar. Uh, yarn, yarn ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the, the putt hut is the uh, uh, mini golf, right? The Royal Discount Putt Hut, yeah. And the petting zoo. Is that where we saw the, it was like the cow, right? With all the mm-hmm. arms? Yeah. You know, I think all of them are legitimate. They are what they advertise. What's except the, for the mystery shack. What's the bottom one? The the big, big thing. thing, the big thing. That just that's not. I love this organ. Looks like a giant sponge. Like welcome to Oregon, and it says Oregon is known for its natural beauty. But let's be honest, guys, trees get boring after a while. That's why man created tourist traps. <laughs> There's a really big shoe, for example, and the yarn ball is neat. There, there is. We didn't go to the house shoe. We did not. Or yeah. Neonville. Yeah. There's Septic Ridge Park over there. Everything. And the yarn ball is neat. I haven't been there, but I've heard good things. <laughs> there's also a graveyard. That's yeah, there is a graveyard down there. The giant pan. Mm-hmm. Do they make stuff in the pan, you think? Or is it there's just an egg. There's an egg well, in the pan. Like can you, you jump out of the pan and into the... Into the fire? Yeah. Maybe. I don't want to do that. Like, I imagine you can buy, like, a bacon hat yeah. or whatever. So, like, people can take pictures and you're the bacon. That'd be fun. You'd hate what, that, though. What makes it a tourist trap? Uh, it's only there to make money from people that are like, oh, cool. But like, I mean, all the locals would never go to Torch yeah. Trap. Like, it has to be something that once you've seen it, you've seen it, and it has no, like, lasting value. Like, yeah. An exaggerated one is, like, the Statue of Liberty in the sense that, like, New Yorkers have, like that live there are like, it's just not, we never go there. It's the tourist thing to do. And when you go there, they, it's designed to take your money. Yeah. Or at least make as much money off of you while you're there as possible. So is that like every memorial monument thing, like around? They charge, like you know, some of them are free. It's to yeah, in a way, like like it's an attraction that once you get there, and then well, here's how much the parking is: it's fifteen dollars for parking. Your Mountain Dew is six bucks. You know, your hot dog is seven dollars. So not like an amusement park. An amusement park park. is also. 
Because that's like pay for the parking. It's yeah. for tourism, but it's not a tourist trap because locals will still go there for yeah. the rides and stuff. Like there are people they that just like know to go there by like Disney to in the go off to Disney all the time. Yeah, but no one. I don't think. I, I imagine no one like is by the largest. You know, like I remember, rubber band ball and goes every day. Gatlinsburg had like a Ripley's Blue or not like upside down house yeah. thing. But I'm like, yeah, Myrtle Beach had one of those too. Is that like that's where I went to it? Wasn't that like your honeymoon or something like that? Yep. Was it down that way? Like they had an upside like down. Like I've been house. an upside down house. My camera where it was. And I'm like, I can't imagine it's a thing that the locals go to. But that whole thing is like a touristy area. Yeah. So is that whole place a tourist trap? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm I just wondering. Would you like, rather go into a house like that and actually be like, you know, the Velcro shoes would be pretty tough. But like, I feel like I'd rather feel like I'm on the ceiling and like looking around and stuff and like having to move from like room to room and stuff would be fun as opposed to just hanging upside down and being normal. Well, it's not normal. You're upside down. I understand that, but I feel like that's not as Think fun. about walking around in this place on yeah. the ceiling. You'd have to like climb up that to walk yeah. down the hall. I like that idea. But I just like the idea of just like turning the whole thing and like gravity still works normally. I'm not rushing blood to my head or whatever. <laughs> but I like the idea of like, you know, I think that would be fun. So is it better to be on the ceiling of an upside down house or upside down in a normal house? Upside down in a normal, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, like most times the upside down house, you're on the floor. Yeah. But everything's just turned upside down. Yeah. I think that's more fun than what they did here. Mm-hmm. So, rather than making them upside down in an upside down house, which is then just a normal house, but you're upside down. All they did here was you got the sensation of being in a normal house, except blood is rushing to your head. Yes. Yeah. Which I feel like isn't that great. So you want to walk on the ceiling and look up at the table. Yeah. I think that's cool. I'd be holy shit, I'm on the ceiling. It's what it would be like. Lionel Richie, this bitch. Yeah. Like, I think that would be cool. I also think it would be cool... To, to like explore no. this area, but it's underwater. No, he... That is awesome. Yeah. In like uh, Germany, I think it is. Like most of the year, it's just a park. Yeah. But for like a month, it's all underwater. Whoa. Yeah. It looks amazing. I'm gonna go cool. there. Where? Road trip. It's in Germany, I think. We're gonna RV you to Germany. Can't road trip to if Germany. If we have a cool enough RV. We, yeah, we drive the RV on the barge. Yeah. Road there's, trip. There's no transatlantic barges. We get in aquatic RVs. You like think there's the like wild a, form bears. Like a car. But we're a commercial enterprise. It's not like there's a ferry like That's in New not York. That's works. They still don't do that. Calvin could be your Ike. Ike, what? Wild Thor bears. What's his name, Ike? Ike who? That guy. What's his name, Ike? There was Darwin, which was the, the monkey. monkey. Yeah. And then there was... Fuck. It's not Ike. Ike, not sounds, not Ike. Ike sounds wrong. No. Okay. I want to say like Colin or something. He's played by Flea. From Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes. Wi-Fi here. So what am I thinking? Ike? Fuck, Danny. Wild Sam. Donnie. Donnie sounds Donnie. right. Donnie. Donnie sounds right. Um. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I thought I had a real deep what reference to. Yeah, Donnie. Nigel. Donnie is the crazy kid. There's Nigel. Yeah, Donnie. Debbie. Nigel, Marianne. Eliza. Eliza. Sloan Blackburn. Peru, Tally. You say Darwin. No, you guys already mentioned him. I'm Nigel Thornberry. Played by Tim Curry. He's in that yes. multiverse thing, I think. Indeed. <gasps> Darwin was Tom Kane. Mm. Can't believe they did this whole episode. It didn't make the Candy Crush reference. I'm proud of them. It's right, probably please. copyrighted. I, like I mean, you could say it. There's probably some kind of candy that's a candy dipper kind of thing. And then yeah. You say candy dipper, like, yeah. That there's that. Uh, there's yeah. that one yeah. like thing that you lick and then you put it in the sugar. Bottle and, pop. No. Baby no. bottle pop. No, no, no. Baby it's a white pop. stick. Yeah, it's a white stick that goes into powder. Yeah. That's called and dip you, something. You yeah. Suck on it, and then you get to eat the stick, but the stick's not great. You eat the stick. You can You're the supposed stick, to. Though. Yeah. The stick is candy, but it's not the best. Very chalky. Yeah, so that could be candy dipper. Could be. Can't remember what's called. I see juicy drop. Fun I dip. See fun dip. Fun dip. Could looks be fun like dip. What it is. Fun dip has the has the the stick and the powder. Fun stuff. dip. That's what that's it is. The one. I would go to Baby Bottle Pop. It's better. Yeah, it has a really good theme song. It does. There's no fun dip theme song. There might be a whistle note. Yeah, exactly. It's not important. 
that age of having a crush, like, such a special time. Because you're convinced. So fucking no, annoying. no, no, no. Yeah. I have a crush on this person, and someone will say, "Well, just move on. You're young. It's gonna. You're gonna have a million of them." Like, no. You're so convinced. This right. is forever. No, no, no. This is special. No one's ever felt this way. You're just a dumb little kid. I've seen movies. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen movies. I've seen movies. <laughs> it's meant to be. Uh, oh, that's their answer. You're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were like, I seen movies. I know it's about Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I see. Mm. They had a flame retardant raccoon instead of Smokey the Bear. Yep. That was good. Yeah. I think killing the spider lady with, with the, the giant boot, boot is brilliant. Is really good. I think it was brilliant. I like that one. I mean, she well. says that's her one of her only weaknesses. Like yeah. guns, no. explosives. Just giant things. That Alvin, how many people bugs. shoot spiders? Massive Maybe amounts. like a giant... Ma- like, uh, You've shot can. a spider. Yeah, you shot one. I've shot a fly as not, well. Not shot at it one, but what shot about no, a fly. I shot what do you one. shot a fly? With the salt assault gun. When you assaulted a fly. <laughs> no, assault firearm. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a firearm. It doesn't use chemical propellant. Right. I know. Air is a chemical. Oxygen. That's a chemical. Air is not a chemical. <laughs> it's a combination of chemicals. It's a gas. Did we know that Stan was once married? I wrote it down. We know that he's divorced. We know he's divorced, but I didn't know he was married. When was it? Like Could when he was on the scam? on the road during the scam stuff, right? Maybe it must have been or something else. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, fun episode. Um, now we have come back to Gravity Falls, and we do have uh, quite the cleanup happening. So I say we check out uh, wherever that was. It was the mummy exhibit, but I saw an E and an R in webbing. So right there is E R I I thought I said E R I, but there is a P. Well, is that another P? Where is the key? There's a key up there, top left. Bend yep. it down a little there. bit. I see. D, I see it right there. C D I P P P E R. It's different. No, I think the O. There's an O down there. That doesn't make sense. For Dopper. Dopper. That's what I'm, he said his name was. I'm Dopper. Dopper. D O P P E R. Dopper. All right. All so, the straight lines are tricks. Yeah. Told you. Found it. You're welcome. I just, I legitimately... Good job, Eric. When I looked, I saw it, I thought I saw my name. E-R-I right there. And later on, that was gone. And it was on screen for a remarkably long time. There were so many times watching this that I had to keep reminding myself to look, keep looking for the key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for fucking autocorrect. Wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so fucking entertaining, right? We're like, let's solve this. <laughs> I do love that it wants to correct it. WCW, my phone does know me. The end credit cipher becomes Seuss, like a noble golden retriever, eventually found his way homeward and befriended a talking bulldog and a sassy cat along the way. <gasps> sassy. <laughs> he had a homeward bound <laughs> movie. Oh, <Peter. laughs> oh, that's great. I love that that key can tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> I love that. I haven't showed Evie that one yet. Oh, what a great movie. It's so oh, great, yeah. but it's also, I feel bad showing it to her. Yeah? Because it, it makes you so sad. I got real sad. Yeah, it does. He's just too old. My great aunt... <laughs> Uh, was a emergency room nurse. Yeah. And she could watch any movie where humans would die, be in danger, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Stone cold. Homeward bound. Ugh. Bald. Every time. Yeah. Man, poor. When Chance gets his porcupine needles in his, in his face, man. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. He's chased by that mountain lion. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Remember the second one? No, not, not I much. haven't seen the second. Not, one. Not, it's not, it's not the classic. It's not as good. It's I, not terrible. I enjoyed it. I had to redo. Uh, I don't want to look up behind the scenes of how those animals are mistreated, like I did my, my own notice. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for me. Gosh, it was a long time between those. But I wasn't nearly as in, attached to Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis—they filmed in Japan. Japan. Yeah. Philippines? It was filmed somewhere. 
is not me. You have to look it up. It's disturbing. <laughs> Talking bulldog. Was Chance a bulldog? No. Who's a pit bull? Was he a pit bull? Right. It's like a mutt, but yeah. He had like a white. Hat. Like a, maybe like a. He had like the nose. Boxer. Of, like a mix. boxer pit bull, yeah. Japan. 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 But there's some allegations slash stories that, from my notice, to get some of those scenes, they just threw cats and dogs in the rivers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, if we get them, we get them. Like, uh, damn. Suburban Commando? Which Hulk Hogan movie is it? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, no, it's not Suburban Commando. It's when they, the guy's throwing a dog into yeah. the lake. It's in the river, but yeah. <laughs> He's on a motorcycle. <laughs> it's at the very beginning of the movie. At the very beginning of the movie, he's just driving down the road, and then as he's going by like a lake or a river, you just see a guy just toss a dog into it. Just randomly in the background. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Maybe he's trying to teach him to swim. That's kind of what I think is happening yeah. there. But, damn. What's the name of the movie? It's not Ready to Rumble. That's David Arquette. Suburban Commando? No, it's not Suburban Commando. It's the first one I think he did with Vince. Where they like wrote it in a weekend in a hotel room. And you can tell. <sighs> Dookie. That one. That doesn't help me, Rick. Damn. Got Zeus in it. Mr. Nanny. No. No. Guy throwing a dog into the water is in Mr. Nanny. Oh, okay. Cool. But that's not the movie I'm thinking of. No. Um, the. What's that smell? No holds barred. No holds barred. That's yep, it. that's it. I've seen that one. Mr. Nanny. Yep. He's so big on that bike. He's a big dude. He is. He's bigger than Schwarzenegger. Yep. Poor dog. It was. We should rank wrestler actors. But actors that play wrestlers. Chris Hemsworth, he's doing the Hulk Hogan movie. Make you work. That's why he got so big. Like in Thor, I was like, he's bigger than I've ever seen him. Just because he's trying to be Hulk Hogan. <laughs> cool. So you talk about stories, right? Yeah. So I have Carla McCorkle returned all his flowers. Marilyn divorced him after only six hours. <gasps> Beatrice slapped him for being a cad. Old Goldie's the best girlfriend Stan ever had. He was married for six hours. Sounds like a celebrity movie. Marriage, you know what I mean? So there's a four relationships. Like a Vegas marriage. Say the first one again. Carlin McCorkle returned all his flowers. Returned all his flowers. And then Marilyn, I don't know who that is, Marilyn divorced him. was married. So Marilyn was who he married. Is the old Goldie, Goldie a dog? Old Goldie's the best girlfriend Stan ever had. I don't Girl, know. Girlfriend, okay. Never mind. I mean, the Mar- guy who like loves a woodpecker married. or whatever in this, He right? married that woodpecker. Yeah, so. Yeah. What did he do in six hours? Maybe she's guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this reaction to Gravity Falls. We are getting close to the the end of the final season too. And if you want to see the next four episodes, check out full uh, early access over Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave and full length for the entire reactions for all these episodes available over there. 